Hey guys, today is Vlogmas Day 16 and I have literally been cleaning all morning. Like my mum had a dinner party, like I said in my last vlog and well video, and I have just been cleaning up all of the mess all day with my mum and a few of her friends came around as well. So yeah, I also took Charlie to the train station this morning because he's gone to Winter Wonderland with a few of his friends and I had to get up pretty early. I mean, it was nine o'clock and considering that I went to bed at like three o'clock, I only had six hours sleep so I was really tired. So it's now three o'clock and I have to get ready because we're all going to the pub for this boy's birthday in the village. So I'm gonna film a quick get ready with me so that I actually have some sort of footage for today because I have nothing. So yeah, enjoy this. I probably won't talk to the camera. I really can't be bothered. I wanna watch this. Um, I've Actually, I'm gonna tell you about that. So I found this new girl on YouTube called Kendall Ray and I'm like obsessed with crime and stuff like that. I love watching documentaries about crime and missing people and things like that. It's just really interesting to me. So I came across this girl's channel and she literally does so much stuff like things that I really enjoy. So yeah, I definitely recommend her. I've literally been binging her over the last like three days. She's so good. I'm currently watching this one about Jim Jones and the Jonestown Massacre, which I didn't really know what it is, but that's why I'm watching it. Six, Jim organized a religious convention. This is going to take place June 11th to June 15th. And to draw in... My skin's not too bad at the moment, so I'm not going to put any foundation on or anything. I really can't be bothered. So I'm just going to start off with my moisturizer again, as I always do, the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. I love this. So I'm just gonna put my powder on and the powder that I use is the Rimmel Stay Matte in Translucent. I can never say that. Translucent. Translucent, not translucent. My God. pale all the time I'm just gonna bronze myself up a bit thing is though you can't really see any difference with this but like looking in the mirror I can see a difference so trust me it's working <laughs> I literally can't wait for Christmas because I've asked for like new a lot of new makeup. So I've asked for a new one of these, the Benefit Gimme Brow, and then I've also asked for a new Anastasia Brow Wiz. Yeah, so I'm just going to do my eyebrows with this sleek brow kit, which I'm not really loving at the moment, to be honest with you. I've been using the powder side of it because I don't really like using like really dark products. I prefer to have more natural brows. So I just look weird otherwise. So I'm just going to use this. <laughs> My eyebrows are so bad at the moment, like I really need to pluck them but I don't want to do it until like Christmas Eve because you know I want the fresh brows for Christmas and Boxing Day and everything. So yeah, they're just going to have to stay like that for the meantime. So I don't really wear eyeshadow when I don't wear foundation, but what I do do quite often is I get my bronzer and I just get like my eyeshadow brush. Then I take that just through the crease just to give it a little bit more colour. I'm putting a bit of mascara on now and I'm using the Lash Sensational one by Maybelline. It's literally my favourite one. I've said it so many times. So yeah, putting that on. And I'm just going to put some lip balm on again. I always just, like, I'm constantly putting lip balm on. But... So that's my makeup done. It took me about 15 minutes because I was just like watching this video and chilling a little bit. So I don't know how much I'm going to film for the rest of the day just because I'm going to the pub and I don't know how long we're going to be there. And then we are going to come home and obviously have dinner. And then I've got to pick Charlie up later on from the train station again. Hopefully, literally fingers crossed that he 
comes back early i really don't want to be going to bed late i'm trying to get my um sleeping schedule on track because it's just so messed up like i'm going to bed at like 11 12 o'clock and then which is late for me i know it's not late for some people but late for me and then i'll be waking up at like nine o'clock which is again late for me so the next clip will either be today or tomorrow i have absolutely no idea hi guys today is vlogmas day 17 and i have been editing pretty much all morning i woke up i got ready and then i took my mum's friend to uh, the park and ride and then i came back and i have literally just been editing the first part of this vlog so i'm really sorry i just want to apologize right now i'm really sorry for the fact that the two vlogs are together again i just haven't had a lot of time to film and edit and it's been a bit busy anyway today i'm starting off this vlog by going to tesco i'm going to get some ingredients for i really want to make like a nice dinner for everyone because the thing is i'm at home and everyone's at work right now so i mean apart from my brother but like I just want to make a nice dinner for everyone, you know, so I'm going to go and make a vegetarian lasagna in like a slow cooker or crock pot or whatever you call it. Yeah, so I'm going to go and get the ingredients for that and then a few bits for my brother and my mum's calling me right now. Hello? Hello. You alright? Right. I'm literally just got in the car and I'm about to go to Tesco. So my mum just said that they're having steak for dinner tonight but I'm making a surprise dinner so that can wait. I'm definitely going to be making what I want to be making oh my god it's so sunny sorry I have completely forgot what I was talking about before so yes I'm going to Tesco and I will see you afterwards because I don't like vlogging in Tesco so I'm back from Tesco now and I'm going to show you what I've got I'm going to give you a little grocery haul um so lasagna sheets chopped tomatoes courgettes ricotta, mozzarella, spinach, kale, green pesto. I also got a few other things for my brother, like fish and nuts and stuff like that, because he's really healthy. I also got this thing, it's like a cheese and broccoli pasta. I had one of them on my vlog the other day, but this one is a Tesco version, and I've never had it before, so I thought I'd try it. But I'm having that for my lunch, so I'm cooking that right now. And I've just realized that I'm gonna be eating a lot of pasta today. Pasta for lunch, pasta for dinner whatever i love a bit of pasta me you'll also need like other veggies like mushrooms and onions and garlic and stuff like that but we already have them here so i didn't bother getting them i'm gonna have my lunch and then i'm gonna make this lasagna and i'm so excited like i want it already i'm so hungry right now look how freaking good that looks oh my god literally i just put loads of cheese on top it's not even bad for you as well like the levels on it the levels on it are all green so it's not even that bad for you and that is what i like to see because i love pasta and i love easy meals oh my god i can't wait to eat this so i'm gonna make the lasagna now i'm gonna start by cutting onions mushrooms courgettes and garlic and then frying them all up making it into a sauce basically and then layering it all into the slow cooker so yeah, I will leave all of the ingredients down below, like the quantities of the ingredients down below, so that you can go and see that, because I can't be bothered to tell you everything. But yeah, here we go. So the sauce is finally ready and I just wanted to make my own sauce because it's like a bit nicer, a little bit healthier as well. Yeah, 
I'm also putting spinach and kale in it because the recipe that I'm going by has it in it and I wanted to make it a little bit healthier because my mum and dad like to eat very healthy as well. And then I've got my ricotta. I've got two of them because I didn't actually know how much you needed. I'm just going to like play it by ear and see how much I need. Then I've got my pasta sheets, my mozzarella and I've also got pesto because it's said to put pesto on it. So basically you do sauce, lasagna, ricotta spinach and kale i mean actually it didn't have spinach in it but i wanted to do spinach uh spinach and kale pesto cheese and then repeat it so i'm just going to do that and then show you what it's like afterwards okay i finished stacking it up it's like almost to the top you can't really see but it literally smells so nice and it's like i've only just turned it on so I can't wait for this later. I'm so excited. Basically, I just did three layers of what you saw. And then I also put another layer of lasagna on top and then covered it with tomato sauce, ricotta and uh, cheese. So it's been about two hours now. I forgot to say that I had the setting on high. So high for two hours. I've just turned it down to low because it looks ready and I don't want to eat it yet so I'm just gonna put it on low I might even turn it to warm in a little bit but oh my god it looks so nice and it smells so good right now but I'm just gonna show you oh my god it's like all the lasagna sheets have like expanded and it's gone all bumpy but it just looks so good it definitely looks ready like I think two hours on high would 100% do it and because it's not got any meat in it it doesn't need to be overcooked if that makes sense so that looks so good i i actually might even turn it down to warm right now because it looks like it's gonna overdo if i do it for any longer so i'm gonna put that on warm oh my god it just looks so good i can't even i just i'm so excited you almost ate that without me filming it Is it nice? Lovely. I feel like you just put on a show for my my video. Mm -hmm. You need to tell me your true, honest opinion. 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. 10 out of 10? You lovely. It actually looks so good and it smells even better.